Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So sorry about today's video being a little bit late. late. Um, but here I am with my update video. I actually slept in and I actually went to church this morning. So I didn't wake up fast enough or, or early enough to make my update video before I, I left. Um, maybe in the future, like on Sundays, if if um, you know if, the, if I don't happen to wake up early enough, the update video might be might come a little bit later. Um, but I'm still gonna make you know the, just the same amount of content as any other day. Uh, I'm starting to gonna start working really hard again, um, trying to make more content. I think there's a lot of other things I can do besides um, besides just like you know unit spotlights and arena videos. I'm thinking of going back and reviewing basically every single monster like that's that I can possibly review in the Astro Guide. I don't know like that much about every single one, but I can take take a look at their skills, do some theory crafting, and talk about you know maybe how that monster could be used. Um, you know, even even some useless monster like this. But I think the the main problem with like a lot of the lower star monsters is their activation rates are like re really really low. So like you know if you compare like a three star to a to a four star, it might not be that different. And certain three stars and four stars have like the same activation rates on certain skills. Like for example, if you take you take uh um let me think. You take the Water Mona, right? The Water Mona has a morale boost of 20%, and it has a like 50% defense break uh, for two turns. And you take something like the the Wood Banshee, who has a very very similar skill set. So the same morale boost, still 100% chance for 20%, but only has like a 10% more chance to um, defense break, which isn't that big of a difference, but. To compare like a four star to like you know a two star, then there's there's like a huge gap there. Um, but still, I think I'll, some some of the two stars, especially like support monsters, are still definitely usable since like buff skills don't really have like a hundred percent activation rate. They don't have like a you know eighty percent chance to activate. And I think in the game it's pretty balanced, so so that like you know. Um, the stat difference between like a five star and a three star isn't that, that huge. Like it's it's still pretty significant, but it's not like um, not something you can't make up with gems. And for for certain monsters, like certain skill sets, there's still it still makes them like really really usable um, and unreplaceable as 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 a three star unit. So yeah, that's that's a little little tiny rant there. So in terms of progression today, I'm planning to. I'm planning to, um, I'm planning to raise certain a few water monsters to five stars. I'm planning to raise another water healer because I, actually I do have a water healer, but I'm, I'm thinking of raising one of these two. I'm not sure which one I should raise for for Golden's B10. I don't know how how good the attack up is for, um, for the Cura, but if I run like a sap team, I might run her because she also has a 60% chance to to do one sap. And she has resilience, which um, you know basically it means if you get hit, you it increases SP, and it, it's based on how much damage you take. So if, if you just make like really tanky units and just keep getting hit, you're gonna start like recovering SP for free, basically. Um, I think in terms of stats, they're they're pretty similar. Like like um, you know the Kuro, Kuros definitely have like a lower recover base recovery. Like for example, like the Dark Kuro and stuff, and the Wood Mona. Um, or what Hana I mean. They Kuros definitely have like a lower base recovery, I think. Like most Kuros, but are definitely tankier. Um, higher higher base HP and higher attack as well. Um, and for water I think for um, for the water at Hana, if I can get her to five stars, her recovery is already gonna be pretty high. So I think I think I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards her if I want to raise another water healer. So I kind of want to raise one of them to five stars today and then get them to max level. Um, also, I want to get enough uh, element stones or, or whatever the, the heck they're called. Um, let me let me let me just take a really quick look. I want to get some. I want to get like. So I definitely need to get a few more lows in order to get one of those units to to five stars. And I also want to um, spend some time getting some mids like you know for if you're today's like the mix element day so I'm basically I have to farm lows like separately from mids um, but I'm definitely gonna try to do that and I actually found a team that can do B9 pretty well like it's it, it has worked I've only tested it like twice but it, it hasn't um, it's it, it's kind of unstable like I, I, I can see it failing quite a lot but I know if I get better gems on those units, I can definitely make it work. 
Um, and the team looks something like this. It's it's uh, Dark Sea Star, Woodhana, um, my Dark Cupid, and and Fire Arthur. This is what I did for 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 this level, and it has been pretty. It has been somewhat stable. Like it's it works. I'm able. I was able to like auto it like three times. Um, but I definitely need to make these units a lot stronger. If I want to immediately do beef beef. B9, I think a really, really easy way for me to do it is to basically get my Hana's runes to like really, really good. Like basically, um, I think she still has like one four star rune. I need to replace that with a five star rune and just, uh, you know, maybe plus 12. And then I think there's like, I can replace her four star rune with a six star rune and get that rune to like, uh, plus, I mean, gem, I mean, um, to plus 15. And then I can, I can six star the, the Arthur today and then 6 star the cupid tomorrow once I farm enough dark um, essences. And I, I can also use the gleams to make my cupid evil too. So I can I can do that and once I do that I think by like in, in two more days I should be able to farm this stage pretty stably. Um, you know a lot of you might not might disagree and say like okay this team's too slow but it's kind of the only team I can really use to to farm B9. So I'm gonna like you know I, I might as well make a team like even if it's really really slow I might as well start farming it anyways rather than just you know waiting around um, like having to go to lower tier um, dungeons to to farm up on gems first I think it's just probably faster for me to move on to a um, higher level like start farming at a higher level and and get resources there it's it's probably faster for me to catch up like that. Um, hmm. Should definitely, definitely grab the Yuki soul stones. I've been collecting Yuki's, um, Monas, not Monas, uh, Hanas. I've been collecting Yuki's, Hanas. I basically I buy, I buy Kuras, um, Hanas, and and Yuki's. And I think Cupids as well. I think I've been buying all the Cupids that I've seen. Yeah, mostly mostly Kuras. I've been buying a lot of Kuras, trying to trying to get more Kuras in the future. Because I think um, I want to kind of raise every single Kura. Like I, I really don't want to feed my my water or wood one away. I definitely want to use them in the future. But I also want to raise my dark one, so it's it's a little bit hard. Um, yeah, it's definitely doable. It's, it's it's not the hardest thing in the world. So that's that's probably what I'm gonna do in terms of progression. So that's that's pretty much it. Um, what else? That's that's uh, that's that's all there is to it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.